Hey. Hey. Uh, yeah. So, I was getting myself some coffee. Uh, let you listen to Arcana for a little bit. Uh, from Russia. Okay. Um, this video is going to be pointless again. Uh, but. But. I know I already have my friend reading my current story. Um, as a guinea pig for it. Uh, I know I have to rewrite a lot of it and tighten it down, fix the wording, and everything like that. But, planning out a new one too. Because, lack of focus. Okay. This one is going to take place on Earth. Because, Earth is cool. It's the only planet we know. Um, during a slightly different um, early Renaissance area, uh, where the Pope has just been killed, uh, murdered in the Vatican, actually. Uh, and the main character, the protagonist, is going to be a priest. Um, and he will be with an Inquisitor, and it will be them going to Eastern Europe, and you can imagine, you can imagine what falls in there. Uh, there's going to be a lot of, uh, a lot of what early Christians and people were afraid of back in the Middle Ages, um, ghosts, vampires, um, ghouls, demonic possession, witches, things like that. Um, basically, timeline splits when the Pope is killed. Um, one that goes into a much darker and more, um, I guess, satanic uh, direction. Um, where the forces of darkness conv convene on the earth, and uh, basically, I'm setting this up to write a modern day story that will tie a little bit into the uh, the silly um, government shutdown story that I recently wrote on Facebook. Um, so the a little bit of the Cthulhu mythos will be in there, um, actually a lot of it, because that's what the government shutdown story was based on. Um, basically everything that was happening there was um, the Elder Gods uh, breaking through from the cosmos and affecting mankind. And as you know, when mankind is faced with an Elder God, they're usually, their usual course of action is to either go insane or die. Um, the protagonist in the Facebook post, of course, didn't. He had to stay alive for the entire 16-day span, uh, which we'll see what happens in January. So I might have to bring that back. Um, that was really fun to write, actually, and I've been toying with the idea for a couple weeks now to uh, expand that into novel format, and I think I will. But. I want to do the precursor to it first, which is when the when the timeline splits off and everything goes dark. Um, there's going to be periods of light and everything. Um, so the uh, thing I'm going to have it set in the 1300s, um, mostly because that's maybe the 1200s. I'm not sure. Those are my two centuries of expertise, really. Um, so it would kind of make sense. I think I've read most about that period. Um, so I'm going to have to do some more research, especially about Catholicism in that time, um, and the Pope system. I have no idea. I'm not Catholic. I've never really read up on the Catholic system. I do have a book called A History of Christianity, which covers all of that. So that will be helpful, and will give me an excuse to reread it, because I got it from my grandmother about seven years ago. Read it once seven years ago. Never once since then. Um, but yeah. Um, 
I think it would be really fun to write since I'm really into like demonic possession movies like The Exorcist is one of my favorite ones. Uh, the Exorcist, I'm not really sure which sequel it was, it was the one that, it was the prequel one that took place in Egypt and they uncovered that giant church. Uh, that one was fantastic, I really enjoyed it. Um, there's a movie on Hulu right now called 11 11 11 The Prophecy. It's fairly well done. Um, I liked it, my wife didn't, but had to deal with a lot of that stuff, um, which I enjoy. So, uh, basically, this pen doesn't even fucking work. There it goes. Okay. There's the basic premise for it. There's our time. That's the Pope's death. Um, that's our timeline. That's the Divergent timeline. Uh, now there might be crosses in here where things have slipped through the different timelines. Um, probably why there's cars and <laughs> shit like that. Um, probably no moon landing. Uh, the moon in the Divergent Timeline would probably be a very dangerous place, as would most of space. Um, I think I'll get started on this today, actually, uh, at least on a plot outline. Um, and character names. I'm going to research. Research is going to be number one, essentially, in historic, historic fantasy, or fiction, horror. Since it's all of them, that's a lot more research, but thank God that, thank God we live in 2013 and we have the internet. Um, so. Alright, so. Uh, do you like that idea? Do you think I should write this? I think I'm going to abandon my other stuff and write this one first, because I think this one would be a lot of fun. So, coffee. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Iced coffee. Delicious. That's all I get.